Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to upload designs and create products on the popular print-on-demand platform Spreadshirt. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified each time I release a new tutorial. Spreadshirt is an easy to use print on demand platform that allows you to upload your own custom designs to a variety of products similar to Redbubble. Not only can you create your own custom products, but also add your product listings to the Spreadshirt marketplace. This gives you access to an audience of thousands of shoppers that are already on the Spreadshirt platform searching for merch and other accessories to purchase. In this Spreadshirt tutorial, we'll be going through the process of creating your account, selecting your products, uploading your designs, and publishing your products to the Spreadshirt marketplace. So go ahead and head over to the Spreadshirt website, and let's get started by creating your account. When you get to the Spreadshirt homepage, go ahead and look up at the top menu and click the button that says Start Selling. This will take you to a page where you can select to sell on the marketplace or open your own spread shop. We'll be going over how to create your spread shop in an upcoming video, but for this tutorial, we'll be going over how to sell on the marketplace. Go ahead and click that button now. This will take you to the registration page where you can put in your email and create a password for your account. So go ahead and put in your email, create your password, confirm you're not a robot, then click the Get Started Now button. And voila, you've just created your Spreadshirt account. On our checklist here, it says we need to create our products and choose a username, but let's skip the guided tour and do it manually. You should now be on a page where you can upload your design. If you check out the accepted file types here, you can see you can upload a JPEG, a PNG, a GIF, a SVG, a AI, or a CDR file. For my designs, I typically upload with the PNG format. For my first spread shirt product, I've already created my design using the Canva T-Shirt Design Maker. With Canva Pro, you can access thousands of pre-made T-Shirt design templates that you can use to create your designs. When you sign up using the link in the video description, not only will you get access to the T-Shirt design templates, but also tons of royalty-free images that you can use for your designs, professional text templates, and even the background remover tool that allows you to remove the background from any image. With Canva Pro, you can easily make your image larger and download your design with a transparent background. Canva Pro is a must-have for print-on-demand sellers. To try Canva Pro free for 30 days, make sure you click the link in the video description. Now that I have a cool design for my products, let's upload it to Spreadshirt. To upload your design, go ahead and click the Browse icon in the center of the square here. I can then find and open up the design I just created with Canva Pro. Once your design finishes uploading, you should be taken to the designs page where you can view and edit your design. If you look underneath the design I just uploaded, you'll see a message saying action required. This means there's something we need to do before our design can be published. So let's check it out by clicking the edit icon in the center here. On the action required page, you should see an optimized version of your image and the original version. Spreadshirt has automatically optimized my design by centering my image and reducing the transparent area. If everything looks good, make sure you have the optimized version selected, then go to the top right and click on Confirm Selection. Now on our design page, the action required message we previously had should be replaced with the Not Published Yet message. Now that our design has been optimized, let's click the Edit button again to upload our design to the Spreadshirt products. Here's where you can select the products you want to add your design to to sell on Spreadshirt. As you can see, Spreadshirt has tons of different product options that you can select from. They have men's tees, women's tees, tank tops, baseball shirts, hoodies, long sleeve shirts, and even other items like coffee mugs, tote bags, and aprons. My design has already been added to all the products displayed here. But if I wanted to remove some products, I could simply click the X at the top left of the image. If you like, go ahead and remove all the products that you don't want to add your design to. Once you've selected your products, you then want to edit each product by making sure your design is aligned and the correct size. Let's start by editing my men's premium t-shirt by clicking the edit icon in the center of the image. This should take you to the product editor where you can adjust your design size and alignment and also check out the product colors. 
To increase or decrease the size of your design, simply use the slider bar here. To move your design around on the t-shirt, simply click and drag it to your desired location. You can also adjust your design size by clicking and dragging the top right corner. If you click and drag the top left corner, you can actually rotate your image. When editing your products, you also have to make sure your design stays within this rectangle here, which is the print area. If you go outside the print area, you'll see a red warning message pop up and you'll need to adjust your design. Also, if you wanted to make sure your design was centered horizontally and vertically, simply use the buttons in the menu here. I definitely want my design centered horizontally, but I think I'll move it up on the t-shirt a bit. I think that looks about right. So once you finish editing your design, you can also check out and select your product colors. To do this, let's click the product color tab here. Here's where you can see all the available colors and select your default color for this particular product. Take your time and check out all the different colors to make sure your design matches well. Depending on your design, some colors may need to be removed. If your design has a white image or a white text, for example, you may want to remove the white color so your design is easy to see on the product. To remove a color, simply go down to the deactivate color menu and select the ones you wish to remove. Now that we've finished selecting our colors, let's check out the print area tab. Here's where you can drag and drop your design to different print areas on your product. For the men's premium t-shirt, it looks like they have a print area on the front and one on the back. If I wanted my design to print on the back of the t-shirt, I can simply click it and drag it down to the back section here. I can then rearrange and resize my design just like we did on the front. But for this example, I want my design on the front of the t-shirt, so let's drag it back to the front section here. Once your design is in the right location and has the right size, go ahead and click the apply button at the top right of the screen. Now on the product screen, my men's premium t-shirt has my adjusted logo and my default color. You're going to want to go through the exact same process for each product you wish to sell. This may be a bit time consuming, but you want to make sure your design is the right size in the right location and is easily viewable on your selected colors. Your design may appear differently on some products, so it's always good to go through and check. Once you finish editing all the products you wish to sell, go ahead and go to the top right of the page and click on the next button. This will take you to the design details page where you can enter your design name, your design description, and your tags. Your design name is going to be your headline and can be a maximum of 50 characters. Make sure you clearly describe your design and include the main keyword you wish to rank for in search results. Next, you can fill out your design description, which can be a maximum of 200 characters. Your description will also rank in search results, so make sure you include your main keyword and also other keywords and keyword phrases that are related to your design. Once you finish writing your description, you can then put in your tags. Here's where you can put in up to 25 keywords that you feel are most closely related to your design. As you type in your keywords, Spreadshirt will also provide you with related tags that you can click to add to your tags. Go ahead and add as many tags as you can to make sure your design gets found in the search results. Once you're finished, go ahead and go to the top right of the screen and click on the Create button. Before your products can be published to the Spreadshirt Marketplace, there's a bit more information you need to provide. From the pop-up screen here, go ahead and put in your company information, your address, and agree to the terms of service. If you don't have a company, simply use your first and last name. Once you're finished, go ahead and click on the Done button at the bottom. You should then see another pop-up window appear congratulating you on creating your products and let you know that your next step is to choose your username. Go ahead and click Continue. You should then be taken to your personal information page where you can upload an avatar and add your username. Let's start by adding my avatar. For my avatar, I'm simply going to use my brand logo. Your avatar can be a maximum of 130 pixels in width and have a maximum file size of 2 megabytes. So go ahead and click the change avatar button and find and open up the image you wish to use. There we go. Now that I've uploaded my avatar, Let's go ahead and create my username. For my username, I'm simply going to use my brand name, which is Quantum Designs. If you scroll down the page here, you can also see other important information that you need to fill out in order to get paid. 
This includes selecting your payment data, which allows you to set up your bank account or your PayPal to receive payments. Once you've filled out your payment and tax information, go ahead and go to the bottom and click on Apply. And voila, you've just submitted your first design to the Spreadshirt Marketplace. Now that I've submitted my design, let's head over to the Designs tab on the Spreadshirt dashboard and check out the status. You can easily view the status of each design you upload by looking underneath the image here. As you can see, my new design is currently in review. Whenever you publish a new design, it'll first be sent to the Spreadshirt team for review. It's currently 2021, and because of everything that's been occurring over the past couple years, publishing has been delayed up to 10 days on Spreadshirt. This is my only complaint about the platform so far, so hopefully this will be fixed in the near future. But once your design is approved, it'll be available in the Spreadshirt marketplace, and customers will be able to search for your product, visit your product listing, and make a purchase. So that's a quick overview of how to upload your first design to the Spreadshirt print-on-demand marketplace. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share the content. This really helps keep the channel going and your support really means a lot. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.